Hi, welcome to New York. Uh, I was just want to say, first of all, if you're looking for anyone to get eaten or killed by an alien, I'm always looking for work. <laughs> I do great duct tapes. Um, and second of all, uh, these are two questions. One, what was it first like going onto the Torchwood set and you know seeing this amazing thing? And second of all, is there a favorite alien or foe that you personally like? Okay, um, the first time I walked onto the hub, uh, I tried to keep it to the very last moment from when Gwen walks in with a little pizza box and kind of just does a big kind of, you know, she, she takes the entire plane sailing. So I tried to keep it as close to doing that shot as possible, to try and get some something that you, you can't perform. And uh, I, I had to leave the set because I had a good 15 minutes of tears. It was, uh, I can't explain to you how overwhelming it was. All these people had worked so, so hard to create this, this new world, this fantastic, incredible arena that they had. And in so many levels, it was so unique and so beautiful. <coughs> Details were fantastic, but it was, there's no feeling really in the world. It, it was uh, overwhelming, and I was the proudest Welsh woman in the world. <laughs> it was awesome, you know, I mean, my favorite, I think my favorite kind of monster of things must be, it has to be because I, I have a slight relationship with the weevil. <laughs> um, that, um, and that got the camera. That's one of the things that go wrong. <laughs> um, but um, I love the blowfish. I just thought it was, also, I thought it was really cute. I thought it was really good looking and kind of, you know, super suit too. So, um, yeah, I, I thought he was great fun. <laughs>
question is actually since the, the first series of Doctor Who since it's come back, the uh, production values on that show have gone up tremendously and Torchwood raised the bar again. With the shorter series, um, what can we expect for the production values? Um, I think you know, we're making five hours, uh, which, which kind of lessens the, the production period and allows us all to concentrate that much more on, on, on making it you know, the, the fine show that, that you've seen in the trailer already. So I'm hoping that you'll see something that's um, even more excellent than before. Thank you. Just to comment on that as well, I, I always, um, in the last, we've done 26 standalone episodes, and I, I always feel that the, the stories that last over two or three episodes, they're my favourite stories. I think they're, they're just stronger, there's more drama in them, and uh, having these five episodes with one big epic story is extraordinary, and I'm just so proud of it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, we got a bit of uh, a thing to say first. So Captain Jack was introduced in the really great serial in the first uh, new Doctor Who season, uh, The Empty Child of Dr. Danson. Um, in that serial, no one died, which was, you know, pretty weird um, for Doctor Who. Um, and then it was, you know, it was sort of ironic because Captain Jack went on to Torchwood, in which is very tragic. And obviously, we've just coming off two of the main characters being killed. I'm just wondering, is there any way we're going to get back to a more optimistic feel, especially right after this? Is this next series going to still go into that tragic arc? Or maybe are we going to see a lighter side for the characters? And maybe, if not, will we be able to see that after this? <laughs> I think absolutely, definitely, there is a definite kind of a lighter side to the characters because the theme of the story is so dark. But somewhere along the line, we've got to get humor in there. Otherwise, the dark stuff doesn't work. So it's uh, it's very uh, there's a very dark theme first first of all the, the backdrop is very very dark isn't it and then and then the characters are you know on top form I mean they're funny they're they're having laughing their heads off they're having so I think you know so um, yeah there's definitely a lighter note and you know with losing two big characters in the last series they can't get anywhere <laughs> you know there's got to be somewhere you know you've got to somewhere from that. And back in the UK we did um, a stint on Doctor Who, the Torture cast, and we did uh, an awful video for drama. And most of the, the kind of grieving was done in that process. So um, so the new series is about the future of Torture. And, uh, you know. Uh, so uh, could you give us odds on maybe no one dying in the next serial? <laughs> 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 